Art fair is arranging for every year. And that is a particular place of uh, near Gavanpuri, and we have been uh, enjoying the art fair for quite a number of years. And it has been getting more and more, uh, you know, uh, important uh, to the artist community as a whole, because there is a hardly chance to be uh, display the artworks in the international art fair. But however, I'm just coming back to. Uh, this Tribeni Kala Art Sangam, uh, where uh, the simultaneously uh, Art Pilgrim has been able to organize this similar kind of uh, exclusively uh, sculpture show, open air sculpture show, that is something really great and something uh, really uh, encourageable and admirable for uh, Art Pilgrim that they have thought this way to simultaneously because the art fair is, will be I think that will be on ninth or something like that but before that tomorrow uh, this sculptures code or this open air sculptures uh, will be inaugurated uh, tomorrow and there are a lot many sculptors have already uh, uh, joined and there are, you have seen that this uh, good sculptures are here there are good sculptures like seniors sculptures I myself and there are many younger generation also my age group also, also here in this uh, mini uh, sculpture garden but it looks it looks beautiful it looks uh, amazing it looks uh, you see now i'm talking about krishna krishna is a very very uh, my signature styles of uh, quite a number of years i have been experimenting krishna with various ways uh, this is one of the Krishna with the cross hands and uh, people. Uh, I, mean, I believe my own Indian tradition, my classical sculptures. I believe that India has got a tremendous, uh, you know, the art treasures, you know, in, in uh, classical uh, times. So I just followed all these classical sculptures like Sarnath Buddha, and this I have picked up the forms from a manuscript. You haven't seen ever in any any time that cross hand uh, in the resembles of the playing foods of Krishna. It's not not for the temple or night, but it's equally you can feel like that this should be installed in somewhere some some holy places like that. So uh, my style set purely uh, my own uh, in Indian Indian because I love my own country. I love my own cultural heritage and art. I love Ajanta, Ilura, Elephanta, Kunarak, what not. And India is such such great country that each and every step you will find the installation, you have find the temple, you have find the you know the stone sculptures or bronze, whatever it may be. Even mural, even even uh, the India has got a tremendous uh, you know the output of miniature paintings, Mughal paintings, Basuli, Chamba, what not. And even we go to the folk, then uh, then Madhubani, then uh, Nathdwara. There are many. I can't even say that. But however, uh, one should, especially being an Indian sculptor, I should not forget my own culture, and I just follow my the 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 the, 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 the sculptors, the painters, the artists. They are doing it in the ancient times. I just follow and transmitted them into a modernity or a contemporary manner. But the subject, the sources are all from our own ancient sculptures. That's the And anyway, uh, I must congratulate uh, Geeta Ji and Art Pilgrim that she has uh, thoughts this way to encourage and give the chance to display the many of our fellow fellow sculptures here and I definitely I will say that that this would be a, and I must uh, you know pray to God for a grand success thank you very much